shall be witnesses unto me both in Jerusalem and in Judea and in Samaria and to the uttermost part of the earth. The power, the anointing of the Holy Ghost coming upon your life. Here it is now, here it is now, here it is now. Let him come, let him come, let him come and feel you to overflowing and feel you to overflowing and touch your life and touch your life and touch your life every part of you let him touch you right now let him feel you right now let him saturate you right now let him saturate you because when he comes he'll baptize you in the holy ghost he must you in the holy ghost wait upon the lord i say to you wait upon the lord they that wait upon the lord shall renew their strength they'll mount up with wings as eagles they will run, they will run, they will run, they will not be weary. And then it says, they will walk and they will not fade. The Holy Ghost is yours. 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 The promise is unto you and to your children and to them that are far off. Even as many, even as many, even as many as the Lord our God shall call. The power to preach. The power to pray, the power to stand firm, the power to do exploits, the power to spread the word with anointing and fire and fervency. That power is there, that power is there, that power is there, that power is there. Plug in right now, connect right now. I say, Lord, here am I, Lord, here am I, Lord, here am I. Ask him from, from every angle. As a child of God, ask him. As a minister of the gospel, ask him. As an instrument here, of the Lord, ask him. As an employee in the kingdom of God, ask him. Ask from every angle. If you've been evil, know how to give good gifts to your children. How much more? How much more? How much more shall your father, who is in heaven, give the Holy Ghost to you while you're asking him? The power to do, the power to perform. The power to live the life of the kingdom and the power to be who the Lord wants us to be. He's saying, ask, it shall be given you. Seek, and you shall find. Knock, it shall be opened unto you. For every one that asketh receiveth. The one that knocketh, it is open. He that seeketh findeth. Which of you, if your child will ask bread, will you give him a stone? If he ask an egg, will you give him something? How much more then will God give the Holy Ghost to the people that are asking him? To the people that are asking him. The Lord is telling you that when you have that Holy Ghost, yes, the tongues will come. Beyond the tongues, above the tongues. What continues in your life? The understanding of the scripture. Beyond the tongues and above the tongues, what comes upon you? The enlightenment, illumination of the scripture. Illumination, explanation, exhortation of the scripture. The expounding of the scriptures. You have that too. Right doctrine, right doctrine, right doctrine, right doctrine. Welcome. When the Holy Ghost comes, because he is the inspirer of the truth. It will guide you into all truth. And it will tell you all things, all things, all things whatsoever I have said unto you. You ask the Lord, you ask the Lord, you ask the Lord. It is yours, it is yours, it is yours, it is yours. And when he is come, he'll be the comforter. He'll be the comforter. He will be the comforter. There will be no challenge in your life that will not comfort you. You will not be a confused minister, a perplexed minister, a depressed minister. It will show you the way. It will show you the way. It will show you the way. When problems arise in the church, the only goes a solution. It will show you the solution. It will give you the solution. And then it will strengthen you, strengthen your backbone. You will not be tired. You will not be weak. You not be weary, you not be fainting. When the Holy Ghost comes, it comes with anointing, it comes with power, it comes with understanding. It will come now. He has come already. And the Lord is saying, receive. Let my power activate you and motivate you. And then move on in that power of the Holy Ghost in your life. And say, Lord, here am I. 
Lord, here am I. Lord, here am I. God is raising up a people of power, a people endued with the Holy Ghost, a company of people, an assembly of people, anointed, energized, and we look in the power of the Holy Ghost. A universal promise. A universal promise. A universal promise. The promise is unto you. The promise is unto you today. The promise is unto you today and to your converts. 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 And to all as many as the Lord our God shall call. As the Lord our God shall call. When the Holy Ghost comes, you'll run, you'll not be weary. When the Holy Ghost comes, your walk you'll not be you'll not fade. When the Holy Ghost comes, you will preach, you'll not be tired. When the Holy Ghost comes, you will pray without fainting. When the Holy Ghost comes, there'll be no confusion. There'll be no tiredness. There'll be no discouragement. When the Holy Ghost comes, power, fire, fervency will come upon your life. When the Holy Ghost comes, truth will come. Error will vanish away. Falsehood will vanish away. When the Holy Ghost comes, it will sweep away every form of error, every form of falsehood. When the Holy Ghost comes, you'll be able to honestly contend for the faith once delivered unto the saints. Let him come. Let him come. Make your connections right now. Make your connections right now. Make your connections right now. Make your connections, your connections right now. Any break in your connection? Any break in your connection? Make the connection and say, Lord, I receive Holy, the Holy Ghost today. I receive your power today. I receive the anointing today. The fervency and the fire, the stamina and the sustainers. Lord, I receive that by the coming of the Holy Ghost. And you forsake all intoxication, all intoxication. The wine of popular opinion, you forsake all that. And the wine of popular psychology, intoxicating people. And the wine of being power driven, you forsake all that. And the wine of Pharisaic tradition, you forsake all that. The wine of denominationalism, pushing people, pushing people, pushing people, you forsake all that. And the real wine in their beer parlor. You forsake all that. And the concentration of the works of the flesh. The influence of the works of the flesh. Influence of Sodom, influence of Egypt. You forsake all that. Influence of Babylon. You forsake all that. Say, Lord, I receive. Lord, I receive. The spirit of truth. Another comforter. Let the power come. Let the power come. Let the power come. Let him energize you. Sustain you. And as you go out of this place, you are going out in that fire, in that fervency. And you are telling the Lord, Oh Lord, here am I, a candidate for the infilling of the Holy Ghost. He must in the Holy Ghost. Saturated with the Holy Ghost. Empowered by the Holy Ghost, enveloped by the Holy Ghost. The promise is unto you. The promise is unto you. The promise is unto you and to your children, to your converts, to your followers, to your members, and to all, and unto 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 all as many as the Lord our God shall call. All of them in the upper room received. All of them in Samira received. All of them in the house of Colinus received. It's unto all. It's unto all. And to what I'll pour my spirit upon all flesh. I will pour my spirit upon all flesh, upon your sons, upon your daughters, upon the old men, upon the young men, upon my servants, upon my handmaids. I'll pour my spirit in those days. And they shall prophesy, and they shall dream, and they shall see vision. And they will go places, and they will do the work of the Lord. And they will serve me without being tired, without being weak or weary. 
I am full of power by the Holy Ghost. I'm full of power by the Spirit of the Lord to declare, to declare, to declare the seeds of Jacob of the nation unto the nation. Full of power. Full of power. Full of power. When you're full of power, there'll be no place for weakness. There'll be no place for fainting. When you're full, really full, really full of power, there'll be no place, no vacancy, for worry, for anxiety, for fear, for trembling, for cowardice. Power. I give unto you power, the power to preach. The power to pray, the power to pursue, the power to persevere, the power to stand courageously. I give unto you power. I give unto you power. I give unto you power. Yes, I'm going to the Father. When I get to the Father, I will pray the Father. I will pray to the Father, and He will say, His promise, the promise of the Father upon you. But what in Jerusalem? But what in Jerusalem? But what in your Jerusalem? Until, until, until ye be endued with power from on high. For John really baptized with water unto repentance. But he shall be baptized with the Holy Ghost not many days hence. For you shall receive power after the Holy Ghost has come upon you. And you shall be witnesses unto me, both in Jerusalem and in all Judea and in Samaria and unto the uttermost part of the earth, unto your village, unto your city, far away places. Far away places, uttermost part of the of the of the earth is coming, and as that spirit comes upon you, that power comes upon you, that anointing comes upon you, you go to all the places the Lord is sending you to. Do not be afraid. Do not be thinking in the flesh. You'll not be reasoning with the flesh. You'll be looking at circumstances. You'll not be wondering, can I make it? Can I do it? Can I go? Can I, can I accomplish? You will know that this is the hour of his power. And the people shall be willing in the days of his power. That power is there now. That power is there now. That power is there now. Make your connections. Make your connection. Make your connection from, with heaven. And say, Lord, I thank you. Lord, I thank you. Lord, I thank you. I'm making my connection. Making my connection. Connection with power. Connection with anointing. Connection with authority. Connection with the unction from the spirit. Of the spirit. Connection. 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 No more weakness, no more weariness, no more idleness. The power has come. Go in this thy power and be a valiant man, a valiant woman. Go in this thy power. the spirit was evident in the life of Moses that power should be evident in your ministry the power of the spirit was evident in Elijah and Elisha 
that power should be evident in your ministry. And when Samuel anointed David, the Spirit of the Lord came upon him. And everybody and everybody saw that. That power should be evident in your life and ministry. Came upon Isaiah, Jeremiah, Ezekiel, Micah, all those prophets. Are you not the prophet of the Lord? A proclaimer of this everlasting gospel. Let that power be evident in your ministry. Make your connections. Make your connections. And say, Lord, I am connected to the power from on high. I'm connected to the power of the Holy Ghost. You have connection with heaven. Connection with the Father. Connection with His only begotten Son. Connection with the Holy Ghost. Connection with the Holy Ghost. He feels you. He dwells you. Saturates you. Empowers you. He dwells you. Now you will go. Now you will go and prepare the people ready for the coming of the Lord. Prepare the people ready for the coming of the Lord. Go and teach with the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Go and preach with the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Go and enlighten the people, open their blind eyes. With the inspiration and influence of the Holy Ghost. Go and correct all those false doctrines in the energy of the Holy Ghost. Go and turn the minds of the people, the hearts of the people, back unto God. In the power, by the influence of the Holy Ghost. Go and plant the churches in the power of the Holy Ghost. Go and tell them, go and tell them. Not just with a natural voice. But go and tell them in the power of the Holy Ghost. Let the anointing abide. Let the anointing remain. Let the unction and the power of the Holy Ghost remain, abide. The Lord said it will be forever. The anointing forever. The comfort forever. The power forever. The vision forever. The dreams forever. The fervency forever. The fire is going to be forever. The illumination is going to be forever. The influence is going to be forever. The revival is going to be forever. The freshness is going to be forever. Power. Anointing. Unction, illumination, 